Hello everyone. When I first started learning about chemtrails, I said to the people that were talking about them, I said, well, aren't they just condensation trails or contrails caused by the um, moisture expanding out of the jet engine and hitting the colder temperatures? And then they started explaining to me the difference and chemtrails are quite different than condensation trails. The difference between chemtrails versus contrails is that chemtrails are very persistent. They remain solid and constant all the way across the sky. They have a wider path than a contrail and they are opaque and sometimes even iridescent or even uh, different colors. Uh, whereas a condensation trail is non-persistent. It usually tails off after the plane has gone a certain distance past across the sky and it's a thinner path and the condensation trail tends to be translucent. This morning I was fortunate enough to catch a video of a condensation trail next to a chemtrail going across the sky. And I will show those to show that there you can actually see the differences. It's, it's quite uh, remarkable. Okay, for those who say that chemtrails are condensation trails, here's a classic example. I'm going to zoom in, and you can see right next to the chemtrail is a condensation trail. And the condensation trail dissipates very quickly. But as you can see, the chemtrail is very persistent and as you can see it starts to dissipate and start to cover the sky over here so here chemtrail and then we'll zoom in to see the condensation trail right next to it see how it dissipates very quickly so there you have it folks a condensation trail right next to a chemtrail so I hope this is helpful in helping you see the difference between a chemtrail and a condensation trail. Thank you. Bye now.